Hi everyone, let's begin split half reliability. Today I'm going to show you how you have to apply split half reliability you with the use of Excel sheet as well as in SPSS. So let's begin. This is the one term experiment ground prophecy I'm going to use when I would conduct this test in SPSS. So let me <clears throat> start this, uh, my Excel formula. You can see here, this is my Excel sheet. In this Excel sheet, I have taken total 1, 2, 3, total 1, to 20. Total 20 uh, items I have taken and uh, these variables. So that is why I have renamed V1, V2, V3, V4, V5 and total responses are also 20. So how we have to check split half reliability, we are going to apply on these variables. So first of all, what I will take, average of those are odd numbers and average of even numbers. So average one here is, I'm going to putting up one formula, right? You can see here, I'm just showing you, so that could be more clear. Here is equal sign, then I'm going to use average. And after this average, I am going to select those are even num odd numbers first, comma. Then I'm going to take V3, comma, V5, comma, V7, comma, V9, then V11, then V13, then V15, then V17, then V19. So all e even number, sorry, odd numbers I have taken. So then I will write down this formula. Now this is the average of each and every row. Now average 2 is here. Again, I'm going to use same formula. There is average. And in this average, I'm going to use only even numbers. This, then V4, then V6, then V8, further V10, V12, V14, V16, V18, and V20. So now I will check this average. So now what we have to do, let me, I think we can take only this one is the form itself. And number only, we have to take only for two digits. So now it is perfect. Now I'm going to apply, this is the correlation. So I will apply, there is there are two ways. Either you have to take simple correlation, right? Correlation formula and correlation between this and array one. And after that, you can select array two. Array two and close the bracket, then enter. You can see here, this is my formula. Or you can do equal to sign, then you have to write here is Pearson. Because we are using Pearson correlation, the, the same thing, array one in the Pearson correlation. And then we are going to take array two, right? We want to check, and now you can see the same correlation, 0.92953, same. Now what we have to do, first we have to calculate Spearman brown coefficient and Spearman brown coefficient means which formula we are going to apply. You can see here, equal to, this one is the 1 plus R means how we have taken this into consideration. Here is simply what I will do. I'm just removing this and just removing this formula here. And uh, what I will do, I will write here, 1 equal to sign, then 1 plus, and I'm going to use this, enter. So this is my value. And 2R means uh, how I had calculated, simply equal sign, 2, and that is multiplication sign, then this is the R, enter. So you can see this is the formula. Experiment ground coefficient means what we are doing here, equal sign, and that would be divided by this 2R divided by 
this value 1 plus r then i would press enter and same value you can see 0 0.96 now this is the value we have calculated with the help of excel sheet so now let me try all these values in spss this is the spss value i have taken this gender i am not taking into consideration only these 20 variables i will take into consideration so how i am going to apply this i am going to analyze then scales and reliability analysis Liability analysis, I will just go back all these variables, right? And one by one, I'm going to select because items split half means because I have tested in my Excel sheet odd and even. The same way we would enter all the variables. Those are odd variables we have to enter first. V1, V3, V5, V7. And further is V9, V11. Then... Further V13, V15, further V18 and V20, not sorry, V17 and V19. All odd numbers we have taken first. And now after that, I am going to select all from the left hand side and I will transfer this. So you can see here on the upper side when this statistics will work on split half. So first upper. 10 variables are odd numbers and below this all even numbers. We will go to the model alpha. By default, you will find alpha, but I'm not going to select alpha. I would select split half because we are working on a split half statistics. Uh, what do you have to select? Let me tell you once again, when you have to open first time, this would be like that. So you are going to select item, scales, scale if item deleted and correlations. That's all we require. I don't require any other thing. So let's continue this thing. Split half we are going to select, then press OK. So this is my output sheet. You can see here in my output sheet. And uh, in this output sheet, you can see here, Spearman Brown coefficient equal length, right? Correlation between forms, that is 0.952, Spearman Brown coefficient 0.975, unequal length 0.975. I think I had added that is gender also. Let me correct it once again. Let me go there. I think uh, when I'd entered the second time, let me analyze this and scale this. That is why there is this some difference. I should remove, I should, that gender should go back. Right. So now I have to press OK. Now you can see here. Spearman Brown coefficient equal length 0.974, unequal length 0.974. And uh, now I would like to show you 0.974, whether I have got the same. Yes, 0 0.9674. That is in the round figure. And let me check here in the SPSS. SPSS, we can see here, right, 0.974, right. So we have more or less same answer with the help of this uh, Excel sheet also. So the items are V1, V3, V5. You can see these are all odd numbers on the upper side and all the, this one is the even numbers below. So this is the correlation in between both these split half. Now what we have to do, you can see here, I will once again, what I will do, let me, I'm just copying this sheet here and my next Excel tab. And now you can see here, right. Now what we have to do, we, I'm just deleting all those things. Now average what we have to do, First 10 values, right? Average of, I'm going to use this formula average and first 10 values. Average and first 10 values split half. Means 20 values we have divided into two parts. So no odd and even. So this is the average and I will drag down. There is that way, right? Now, here is in average 2, what I will do, again, I am going to use formula average. And in this formula, 11 to 20, I am going to select. So, that one is the next half, first half and second half. There is any, I mean, their correlation, their average must be similar. 
So let me check this value. Let me zero. Right. And now you can see here 0 0.78. That is Pearson average and same way 0 0.88. And now we will test this in SPSS also. Let me check. Again, I have to go to scale, liability test. All these factors will go back. And now what we have to do, first half, right? This value, V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6, V7, V8, and till V10. That was the first half. Right. And all other that would be in the second half. So as it is, we can also send. But I just want to explain you. That is why I have used in two rounds. Gender will be go back. Split half. Again, statistics would be same. I think. And split half. Right. Split half. And that we have to press. Okay. So now you can see Spearman ground coefficient. When we have taken divided into two parts. Odd and uh, even. No odd and even. Exactly. V1 to V10. That is in one half and V11 to V20 in the second half, 0 0.78, 0 0.78. So let me check whether I am getting the same thing. Yes, 0 0.88, right? That is also same. So I hope this split half method is clear to you. And in the next uh, video, I'm going to explain you. This one is when uh, Spearman Brown prophecy in detail. And as well as I would like to show you one published paper where is the comparison of Cronbeck Alpha and split half correlation? I hope this video would be helpful. Thank you. Keep 